as the economy of America and the West is experiencing a meltdown, Iran's leaders say this is a punishment from God. On October 8th, the country's semi-official news agency IRNA reported that the president of Iran, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, said, quote, their economy is collapsing, and the reason for their defeat is that they have abandoned faith in God and piety. Just five days earlier, the Secretary of Iran's Influential Council of Guardians, Ayatollah Ahmad Jamati, echoed similar sentiments at Tehran University's Friday prayer ceremony. Just as the U.S. rejoices at the manifestation of troubles in Iran, we are happy that the U.S. economy is in this array and that this has spread to Europe. And now they are seeing the consequences of their ugly deeds as God is punishing them. Genetti also blamed Western conspiracies for Iran's economic woes. According to Iran's farce news agency, Genetti said, quote, Recently, an evil ambassador of a European country has had private meetings in England and in the U.S. He insisted in order for them to reach their goals, they must create crises in Iran, including economy. Indeed, Iran's economy is in decline. The head of Iran's Majlis Workers Faction, Ali Reza Mahjoub, told the Iran labor news agency Ilna high levels of unemployment is, quote, a disaster for society. Additionally, the International Monetary Fund report in August confirms that UN and U.S. sanctions against Iran have negatively affected its economy. The sanctions, quote, have created difficulties for trade financing and payments, discouraged foreign investment, and adversely affected the profitability of the targeted financial institutions. Even for an oil-blessed country like Iran, the IMF reports, quote, its oil production has remained virtually flat in recent years and will most likely remain stagnant in the medium term due to insufficient investment. Yet President Ahmadinejad, who's already in the hot seat over the country's ailing economy, told the West via IRNA, quote, You're mistaken. With threats and sanctions, you cannot break the nation of Iran. Still, in the midst of the economic meltdown in the West, UN Security Council members were united in passing a new resolution on the Islamic Republic. It reaffirms three previous resolutions urging Tehran to give up its nuclear enrichment program.